Hello everyone, you're welcome once more to MEPH, your YouTube channel where we solve problems for math, covering a different topic. I'm your tutor, Mr. Bukhi, and today I'll take you a problem on, you know, quadratic equation, finding the roots, you know, the quadratic equation on the board. If you're new to this channel, you're highly welcome, and uh, I would advise that you subscribe to this channel because uh, there are lots and lots of videos with which you can watch and learn something in math if you're having challenges in whatever topic. All right, so without wasting much of our time, let's get right into the problem for today. So the question says find the roots of the quadratic equation, okay, 3m squared minus 2n minus 65 is equal to zero. So how do we go about solving this problem? Our solution, the first thing is I want to write the general form of quadratic equations. We have it as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. All right, and our given equation is what? We're giving 3m squared minus 2m minus 65 equals zero. So from this, we have to identify the equations of a, B, and C. Now for A, we have A is what? 3, B is what? Minus 2, and our C is what? Minus 65. So I'm going to quickly write that down. So my A is what? 3, our B is minus 2, and our C is minus 65. So this is the first thing. The next step is you want to multiply a times c. Okay, so what's our a? Our a is 3 multiplied by minus 65. So this will give us what? 3 times 5 is 15. So carry 1. 3 times 6 is 18. So our 18 plus 1 is what? 19. And we have a minus here. All right, so that is our next step. Okay, finding what AC. So our AC gave us minus what? 195. Now I'm gotten that the next thing is we want to find the factors of 195. Okay, so all you need to do is you need to find two numbers that when you multiply them will give you 195. So I think um, the first two numbers I have, yeah, one can multiply 195, okay? All right, so what are the next two numbers? Of course, we have three, three can multiply 65, so I have three and we have 65. Okay, so what are the next number apart from three? Okay, I can observe that five can go into 195. Okay, because we have five at this end, so five is also a factor. And uh, five times what? We have 39, okay? Is there any other factor? All right, um, yes, another factor that can go is we have 13 times can go. If you divide 13 to 195, you're going to have 15. So all these are the factors of what? 100. Now, the next step here is we want to look for two numbers, okay? That's when you add them, okay? You're going to get minus two. And when you multiply them, you're going to get minus 195. And by examining the factors here, the numbers, you know, that looks, you know, close to what we want are these two numbers. Okay, so from that we can now proceed. So we have the numbers what 15, okay, and what 13. So the next thing is we want to put the signs for these two numbers. Okay, what signs are going to work? So we have to check because we want to replace all of this minus 2n. So, should I say minus 15m? Okay, 
plus 13m. All right, so if we check this out, minus 15m plus 13m is going to give us what? Minus 2m. So this can replace this. Now, if you also check minus 15 multiplied by plus 13, okay? Minus 15 multiplied by what? 13 is also going to give us minus 195. So minus 15 and plus 13 satisfies, you know, the two numbers that their sum will give us minus two and their product will give us 195, that's minus 195. So I'm going to replace all this for this. So we have three M squared minus 15 M plus 13 M minus 65 is equal to zero. Now from this point, what are we going to do next? Now we are going to factor out. Now what is common here, if I observe three is common, okay, and M is common. So we are factoring out this and this. So I'm going to divide this by what? 3m minus 15m. We are also going to divide by 3m. How about for this side? I'm seeing that's what 13 is common. So we are going to divide 13m by what 13 and 65 by what 13. That gives us there. So can I reduce it? So this will cancel out this. This will cancel out one with the left. So we have 3m multiply all oh, this is n minus this will cancel out this, this will cancel this is 5. So minus 5 plus we have 13. Okay, so this will cancel out this, we have this n minus this cancels out this, we have 5 times. So we have 5 is equal to 0. Alright, so having gotten that, we can now do one more factorization. Okay. And do one more factorization. And this is common. Okay, so this is common. So I'm going to bring that out. M minus 5 is common. Now, if I divide this part by M minus 5, what are we going to have left? This will cancel out this. So we are left with 3M. If I also divide this part with what? M minus 5. Okay, this will cancel out this, and we are left with what? Plus 13 is equal to zero. So, so we factored out this, all right? By dividing it here and here. So from this, we have the condition that if you have A times B is equal to zero, okay? For this to apply, it means one of these has to be zero. Either A is zero, or D should be zero, okay? Because zero times D is zero, or A times zero is what zero. So this means A is either zero, or what D is either zero, okay? Because if A is zero, zero times B is zero. If B is zero, A times zero is zero. We are going to apply this here. So let this be A and let this be B. So A is M minus five is equal to zero, or B, three M plus 13 is equal to zero, all right? So from this, we can now solve for M. So I'll divide that, M minus five, we're going to add five here, and we're also going to add five here. Now for this side, we have three M plus 13, we're going to subtract 13, and we're also going to subtract three. So this will give us minus 5 plus 5 is 0, so we are left with n. So n plus 0 is just n, and so of course 0 plus 5 is what 5. So this is one value of n, or one of the roots. So this is one of the roots. Now the next root is, we have this is 3n minus 13, plus 13 minus 13 is 0, so all this is 3m, which is equals to 0 minus 13 is what? Minus 13. Now we're going to divide both sides by 3, okay? So this will cancel out this. So m is equals to what? Minus 13 over 3. So this is the second root, okay? 
So the roots of the quadratic equation actually are m is equal to 5 and m is equal to minus 13 divided by 3. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button and share this video to someone who may be of help. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.